the bell icon to turn on notifications. We've made the files the instructor uses in this tutorial available for free. Just click the link below in the video details to get these. Hi guys and welcome back to this course on Word 2019 Advanced. We're down into the last module of section 16 and this section we've been taking a look at how you can track changes in your Word documents. And in this final module I just want to run you through how you can print your documents ensuring that comments and track changes are showing. So I have my track changes document open on the screen. And if you look in my tracking group, you can see that I'm currently displaying all markup. And if I click on show markup and go down to balloons, you can see that I have this set to show all my revisions in line. So currently, if I wanted to print this document, if I jump up to the file tab and go down to print, I can see a preview here of what that's going to look like. Now, I also have comments in this document, but because of the way that I'm viewing my document currently, you can't see those comments in the balloons running down the right-hand side. And that's because I have this set to show all of the changes in line. If you look at where it says, this is a new line in the middle just here, if you look after it, you can see that there's my initials in square brackets. So that's telling me that there is a comment there. And as I hover over it, even in the print preview, you can see it says that I commented. So I know there are comments in this document, but I actually want to print them down the side of the document. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you're displaying everything that you want to print, and that includes your comments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up to show markup. I'm going to go down to balloons and I'm going to change this to show only comments and formatting in balloons. And there we go. I get my little pane back on the right hand side that's showing my comments. So now if I jump back to file and print, you can see now what that's going to look like if I choose to print this document. Now, another thing that you should make sure that you have selected in here, if you want to ensure that all of your markup is going to be printed, is over in this settings area, where it currently says print all pages, if I click this drop down, you want to make sure that you have the print markup options selected. And once that's selected, it's going to print all of your comments and all of the markup in your document. Now, another option that you have in here under this document info section, is to just print a list of all of the markups. So in this case, the track changes. So sometimes this option can be useful if you just want a, a printout of all of the changes that have been made in the document. But once you've set these options, you can then just click on the print button at the top to print your document, your markup, or a list of all of the changes. So pretty straightforward. That's it for this module. I will see you in the next section. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get the files the instructor used in this tutorial and follow along, click over there. And click over there to watch more videos on YouTube from Simon Says It.